In December of 2014, during the time of the summer solstice, a ceremony was held in the Mauka region of the Ahupua'a of Ka'alaiki, in the district of Ka'u on the island of Hawaii. A ceremony which had not been performed in over 100 years. This ceremony was the opening ceremony for the restoration of a hula temple dedicated to the god Laka, known as Imaka Kaloa Heiau. Currently, there are only a handful of known Heiau hula in existence. The restoration of Imaka Kaloa Heiau was initiated by hula practitioners of Halao Okekuhi, headed by Kumuhula Nalani Kanakaole. In collaboration with the Edith Kanakaole Foundation, the Ka'u Community, Olsen Trust, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, the University of Hawaii at Hilo Heritage Management Program, and cultural practitioners. The staff of EKF and the leadership of Halao Okekuhi came up with the overall research design with input from the UHH Heritage Management Program and the Ka'u community with additional support from OHA and Olsen Trust. The purpose of this initiative is to elevate hula practice, to reconnect Native Hawaiian practitioners to their environment and to reclaim a practice that was born and nurtured by the ancestors. The ceremony began with offerings of awa to the surrounding heiau of Ke'eku in Kawa by the sea and at Kohai Kalani in the uplands on the top of Pu'umakanao. Well, there's ceremony in everything, actually. Uh, ceremony puts you in another frame of mind. And so if you intend to do ceremony, you have to actually be trained in ceremony because the ceremony has a process. And when you go into ceremony, what you're doing is you're, you're doing a kahea. Okay, so you're calling out and you're calling out to entities that you may be familiar with or you may not be familiar with. The ceremony required participants to bring a pohaku, or stone, from their aina, land, to Imaka Kaloa Heiau. A mele inoa was the first chant offered, followed by a procession of the attendees. The stones were deposited at the four corners of the site where the lepa or markers were to be erected. The chant associated with the raising of the lepa is associated with the very first heiau, Baulani in Nu'uanu. The lepa marked the boundary of the restoration area. Once the lepa have been raised, an ava ceremony is held with the first Abba going to the Heiau. The ceremony is concluded with Hula and Mele associated with the Heiau and with Ka'u. With the opening ceremony completed, fieldwork and research can begin. It is important that all work on site be done with respect, reverence, and in accordance with protocol. Protocol is the process of separating the sacred from the profane. Protocol establishes and re-establishes an awareness of the relationship between man and everything else and is a conduit for intergenerational thought continuum. A mele kahea is offered upon each visit and is a call out to the resident for permission to enter the site. The mele kahea is often answered with a mele komo. At the end of the day, a mele ho'oku'u is recited. The mele ho'oku'u is a release from the kapu imposed. It calls for purification, and it allows you to return to your normal daily task, free of the burden of malama heiau, or heiau work. Vegetation removal is a slow process. Brush and trees must be removed with little or no effect on the existing structure. 
Use of modern tools such as loppers, weed whackers, chainsaws, and pole saws aid in efficient vegetation removal. Hand removal of the fine vegetation is the last step of the process. We were fortunate to have a cultural practitioner who has been involved in many heo projects assist us with the mapping of the site as well as train the next generation of heritage managers in the process. Additionally, the entire site was surveyed and photographed by university and hula students under the supervision of an archaeologist and a kumuhula. Another effective way to document the site is to create a 3D image using drone photos, panoramic photography, and a specialized software that combines the photos into a 3D rendering. While no associated features were found in our two-acre survey area, the relationship it shares with two heiau two miles away and significant geographic features even further away support the need to consider cultural landscapes when engaged in archaeological survey. All information gathered in the fieldwork was combined with ethno-historical information gathered from various sources to create a preservation plan. Cultural practitioners were given the task of drafting a protocol guide for the restoration process as well as continued utilization of the site. While this is something not currently required to be included in the preservation plan, the Kumuhula felt it was necessary. This guide provides various mele for entry such as the mele kahea and mele komo, purification mele such as the mele kala, kapu release mele ho'oku'u, and mele inoa or name chance honoring place. The protocol guide also outlines the orientation, appropriate behavior, and ho'okupu or offerings. Restoration work is conducted in accordance with the protocol guide as well as the overall preservation plan. Restoration work is done under the supervision of a cultural practitioner in Uhau Humupuhaku, the art of creating stone structures. In areas where the alignments are not visible, use of previous maps compared to existing maps are used to determine the location of the walls. Working together with various Halau and the Ka'u community, we hope to complete the restoration of Imakakaloa Heiau by the summer of 2018. A hula convention will be convening during this time in Hilo, giving hula practitioners the opportunity to participate in ceremony to re-establish Imakakaloa Heiau. And the ritual, um, as is done on the hula heiau, Um, forces the hula dancer to elevate their practice and their and and um, fortify their connection to their environment. And so that's what I why I think the hula heiau is such an important structure to to. Um, to bring back, when you go to Heiau, or well, the ones that I've been so far, and, and you go on top or, or, or next to it or in, in the vicinity of, um, and you look around, you can see everything for miles around you. And then you can see the span of the sky and the span of the ocean and coastline and you can see behind you the mountains um, and that happens at, at Heiau. So as a hula dancer to see that on a hula Heiau and again to situate myself in you know, the Vaulani that surrounds me and the, and the um, um, uh, that, that's very significant in, in how I go forward with my practice. The restoration of Imakakaloa Heo creates a space and an opportunity for today's practitioner to elevate their practice through ceremony and ritual, stressing the importance of reverence and observation.
The process outlined in this presentation is one template that can be used in the restoration of cultural sites throughout Hawaii. We humbly offer our process as cultural practitioners, community members, nonprofit organizations, field experts, and government agencies to help bring communities together in the protection and utilization of our cultural sites and to raise our collective understanding of their relationship with the living culture and the natural environment. He who takes his teachings and applies them increases his knowledge.